You know, when you start thinking about buying rentals, owning rentals, owning a home in general, doing pretty much anything with real estate or planning with a house, design becomes a big part. And, and you know, Jared was just talking with us a little bit about what it takes to design a rental to actually get rented. And Kathy, I mean, Jesus, just perfect that you're here uh, I, because, hey, this is kind of what you do. Colors, design, you have your own color um, or paint, paints. paints. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, you've owned and operated your paint and interior design retail stores. Mm-hmm. You really know your, your mm-hmm. stuff here. Mm-hmm. What's kind of your take on what people look for when they're going out to rent a house? I mean, what, what do people need to do? Or just, how do you start that process? To rent a house? Yeah, just to, to create something that's pleasing, that people want. Well, I think Jared touched on, on something right there, and that's what I talk a lot about with people, is starting with the color palette first, up front. So determining what your paint colors are for your walls, your ceilings, your doors, and your trim colors. And I think that will really help set uh, a path of what you're going to do next, whether it's redoing carpet. It's like the desi- designing um, your design process designing, in some way. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's a good, it's a good starting point. And it's like building a house, you need a strong foundation. Everything we talk about in design revolves around color. So let's start with what takes up the most space when you walk into a room, your eye space, is the walls. And so starting with your color palette is is the most important thing. Now, a lot of people who buy rental properties are probably not designers. I'm going to just guess. I'm going to guess they're probably not. Jared's over there shaking his head like, yes, they're not designers. Um, and, and I would think, especially knowing myself, who's also not a designer, mm-hmm. that would be frustrating. You walk in and it's it's almost a, just too big of a, a blank canvas. Mm-hmm. How would somebody start maybe, I mean, how do you go th- get through that maybe overwhelmed piece? Or is it is that when, is it better to hire somebody, I guess, mm-hmm. at that point in mm-hmm. time? So mm-hmm. you don't, I, mean, I don't know what colors match. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, I've been in the business over 10 years and, you know, owning a retail store, you never know what's going to walk in the door. And you see so many times, uh, whether it's couples or singles, that are just so overwhelmed and so frustrated by the even beginning process of thinking about all the decisions that they have to make. So that's really when you need a professional to help you hold your hand. It really is a partnership to go down this path together. Because our job is to really pull together the whole aesthetics of the, pl- of the whether it's just the kitchen or if it's an entire home, and allow you to make some decisions. But our job is to pull maybe two to three choices, and you get to choose from that. Make it manageable. We are making it so manageable. And we already have the whole home already pulled together. We give you the right to say yes, no, but you only have a couple of choices. Versus going on Google and and Googling paint colors or it's paint. Google, right, Google or, or a big box store or any place that's really going to get you overwhelmed really, really fast. And that's when the anxiety starts to really increase the stress level. And that's when the frustration between couples starts to happen. Um, tears start to flow. I mean, I've seen a lot. So it's, it's really, <laughs> Part really, marriage counselor. Yeah. Part, well, a lot of times, yeah. You're the color therapist and then you're the marriage counselor. And the other time it's really for the other opposite end. It's for people that are really, really busy. People that um, are executives and work 12, 15 hours a day. Um, and they just don't have time, yet they know what they want. They don't have the time. And that's the time when you want to have a professional to really help you pull the whole pull the whole vision together. You, you had talked a little bit about it, even, I mean, that material selection. Because mm-hmm. when you go into some of these projects, kitchen, bathroom, I mean, even just painting and then mm-hmm. making things, mm-hmm. making other pieces of your home match the paint, mm-hmm. pillows and whatnot. Right. Um, you go through this, I mean, I would, I would think you go through this huge, array of possibilities and you'd mm-hmm. mentioned that you only deliver th- you know you give people the choice of mm-hmm. two or three that are going to work mm-hmm. that has to be one of the most overwhelming things for people and probably one of the ba- I, I i don't want to just skim over that because going online and just searching yeah i mean it's yeah. I, I couldn't I mean, how yeah. many tiles are there how many exactly how many yeah. Granites well, are there? How many paint colors are there? It's a couple things. You know, people really want to stretch their budget nowadays, especially, and people are staying in their homes longer. And, you know, there's this whole idea that I could take that on and I could do it. But I always try to tell people, your time is valuable. Think about what your hourly rate is and think about how much time it's going to take you. By hiring a professional, they already have the relationships with the suppliers, the distributors, the manufacturers. 
They already know what the trends are. Um, they already know the materials that are out there that are going to work together. So that time is And then the resale our... down the road. I oh, mean, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The resale and, and the rental and the rental property there. I, I'm, um, I'm actually glad you brought that up because I'm starting to feel we have this do-it-yourself nation. Oh, absolutely. And, right? the, Every... and TV has not helped no. with that. No. And yeah. everybody thinks they can just do it themselves. And not yeah. saying you can't. Yeah. But I don't know that pe- people expect... If I were to go try to build a car, right? That's a pretty complex thing. Maybe not build a car. Maybe I'm going to go design a kitchen or design. It's amazing to me that people have this idea that they're going to get, they're, they're going to be able to design something. They're going to be able to create something, a website per se, that's just as good as a professional because they're undertaking the project. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's a big problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And design, I think a lot of people think they like design, mm-hmm. but I don't know how people are good mm-hmm. at it. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- that's exactly it. And they get halfway down the road, and then they get to that place of, um, I can't do any more. I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. I just can't look at another piece of tile or backsplash or fabric. Yet they want that end result, or they're in a time crunch, and they have to get it done. The builder is on their back, or the, or the contractor is on their back. And that's when the frustration and the anxiety rises. And it, so. so when you start even thinking about builders, contractors, architects, architects, plus the, the amount of time you're spending maybe not working, mm-hmm. or the value of spending time with your kids or your family, mm-hmm. it can almost be profitable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. And that's when I say a lot of times, when an easy thing like paint. A lot of people tell me, oh, I love to paint. I want to paint, you know, the entire house. And it could have 30-foot ceilings. And I'm like, okay, let's have you tell me what your hourly rate is, and you triple that number, and then we'll get in a painting contractor, and then you compare apples to apples. Why do you triple the number? Because people always think, if I paint a bathroom, I could do it in a weekend. But you know what? That's not reality. Reality is, Sally's going to have another soccer game that you're going to really want to go to, or you're going to have a cold. So it's, you it's, it's, know, it's, it's, it's three times as long. Exactly. Got life it. gets in the way, and you still are not comparing what your hourly rate is. Well, who hasn't walked into a house that has projects halfway done? Well, there you go. That's when they, that's when they, that's bring, in, they bring you in. That's Again, right. we're here with Kathy Bannock, interior designer with Authentic Home. Kathy, we have about a, just about a minute left before we have to go to break. But w- talk a little bit about, I mean, you, you know, you talk about budgeting the time. Mm-hmm. What about budgeting the money? How do you mm-hmm. work within the, the, the financial constraints of budgets? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I make sure that we sit down up front and talk about budgets and, um, you know, really talk about the reality of what we can accomplish. You know, and that's another reason why working with a professional that understands the differences between the materials as well as the costs, as well as where I could get, you know, a real cost-effective type of material and work it in. Um, as well as maybe putting your money and investing in your money in a certain piece. Maybe it's a certain piece of furniture and then cutting back on another area to still work within your budget. And, you know, we, this is what we have to do all the time. I'm constantly knowing what budget I have yet, where I could cut back and where I may want to put find, a little money. Or find maybe a comp- something that's comparable, Absolutely. I think would be a big yeah. piece. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we're going to have to go, but <laughs> I'm looking here. Tell me Tangerine Tango. <laughs> well, that's the um, uh, color of 2012. That's the color of the year by Pantone, which is known for their color marketing. Um, and actually... Sounds uh, like dancing oranges Well, to me. it actually is. It's a bolder orange. And I was out about two weeks ago at Pacific Place, and it is everywhere. It's not just pink colors. It is accessories. It's, it's clothing. It's shoes. It's everywhere, and it's a very vibrant, fun color. And that says a lot about what people are feeling. People are feeling a little more uplifted about the economy, what's going to happen in the election uh, coming in the later in the year. So there's a little bit more optimism out there than in years past. So that's a, that's a good thing. So and col- it makes you happy. The orange makes you happy. It's a very vibrant color. Well, anything called tan- Tangerine Tango better make you happy. Yeah. It's a bold name for a, yeah. bold, for a pretty bold color. Go dancing. Yeah, that's right, with the oranges. <laughs> um, so, Kathy, again, we got to go break real quick, but create the, just tell us about creating this path, designing the design. Or does, you know what I mean? Designing the design process, I guess. What's that first step people should be thinking well, I think the first thing is to really think about hiring a professional. You know, whether it's just um, 
remodeling a kitchen or a bathroom or trying to buy some new furniture. Um, designers have all ranges of how they work with you, and it's really doing your homework, getting referrals, uh, looking at their experience and their portfolios. But a lot of times people just hire me just to do a color consultation, and I set them on the path. I include 30 minutes of complimentary interior design consultation so I could say, okay, now that we have our colors, I think if you got a sofa in this color and put it over here and get a lamp that's like this, you're on your way. Well, and, if and that's all it is. And if and you're watching online or on video right now, streaming, you know Kathy's got an eye for color and her vibrant blue uh, <laughs> turquoise. Turquoise, sorry, <laughs> turquoise uh, dress that she's wearing right now. Thanks so much for joining us, Kathy. Thank you. And uh, you'll join us here at the end for a little roundtable discussion. Yes. Um, when we come back, a lot of people go online and they start to pick and choose some of the things they want. And it's important to really understand how people are trying to portray themselves online. Keith Krantz is going to join us when we come back. My name is Ben Brash and that was Kathy Bannock. You're listening to Brash and Online.